Netflix has a large number of viewers across the globe. That's why we can see so much diversity in its content. But sometimes, this diversity can fire back and that's exactly what happened in this case. You get around Syria, Israel, Texas. It's a new German. And what is that work? God's work. Yes, we are talking about the Messiah series. This thriller series become controversial after its release and Netflix has to cancel its second season. But what was the actual reason behind it? Welcome to Cine Wizard and today we are going to examine the case of Messiah controversy and its cancellation. Messiah was released on January 1st, 2020. Before its release, it became a sensation because many people considered it to be a super hit show. But rather than becoming a super hit, it raised many questions. You could be creating an army or he could be leading them to their death. A huge debate started after this show was aired last year. This backlash and negative response become the reason behind its cancellation. Despite having an international cast and some high-profile names like Michelle Monaghan, John Otis and Matthew Tabby, it was a complete disaster. But many people still don't know the reason behind this negative response and backlash. To know this, we have to dive into its storyline and examine it closely. So let's analyze its story and premise. The first season of Messiah holds all answers which we are seeking. With just 10 episodes, the first season ends with a cliffhanger. The show starts with a preacher in Damascus who provides the defeat of ISIS. After the defeat, this preacher led hundreds of his followers straight to the Israel border. There he is captured and jailed by Israel border police. Upon his first investigation by the security agency of Israel, the preacher introduced himself as al Masih. What were you doing in Syria? Delivering a message. A message from whom? My father. He also shocked the agent, Aviram Dan by revealing those things which the agent should only know. The next day, he escaped from the jail and ends up in the Al-Aqsa Mosque, where he prophesied the end of this world. Later, this man ends up in Texas, USA and saves the daughter of a local pastor. This incident is filmed and become viral on social media. After that, the authorities become concerned with the popularity and agenda of this man, who people think is the second coming of Christ. He just disappears. No one just disappears. We all witnessed a miracle. He saved my daughter's life. On the other hand, this person is being chased by a CIA agent, Eve Gala, who also wants to find the truth. Soon, he is captured by American authorities and Eve Gala finally have her chance to interrogate him. But to her shock, he revealed all her past accidents and trauma despite meeting for the first time. He is released by the court and becomes even more famous after he walks on the water in Washington, D.C. Meanwhile, his past is started to clear when a mysterious source revealed his real name, which is Pam Goltry. Eve also finds his brother, who told that they were raised by their uncle, who was a trained illusionist. During this, Pyam manages to gather a large number of followers and he led the whole convoy. But before he can appear on the TV show, he is abducted by Dahan. Upon their way back to Israel, their plane is crashed. The season ends with a shock Dahan, who witnesses his colleague kneeling before the payam and kissing his hand. This is bigger than what you can imagine. Now you might have an idea about this controversy. But if you don't, then let us tell you. The first and major backlash is received was from religious bodies of Muslim and Christian groups. It was noted that the concept of this whole show is controversial. For those who didn't know that Jal is labeled as a liar and pure evil in Islamic teachings. This religious insensitivity is one of the major causes of this show's cancellation. In an online petition, almost 4,000 people signatures to change the name of this show. Many Muslim people claimed that this show was a direct hit on Islam and Netflix is hurting their sentiments by airing this series. The Royal Film Commission of Jordan requested Netflix to cancel and ban this show in their country. Other than Muslims, a lot of Orthodox Christians groups 
also protest against it. He's come out of nowhere and we don't know who he is. What do we know about him? He's leading desperate people. So this is a cult? We don't know who he's associated with. Because the demining representation of second coming of Christ is insensitive and should be banned. Although Netflix denied his allegations and stated that it has no resemblance with Islamic teaching and this is pure fiction. But many Muslims beg to differ from this statement. Michael Petroni, the creator of this show, also said that Messiah is a pure fiction and is not based on the religious context of Islam and Christianity. With average reviews and viewership, Messiah become famous for its religious uproar rather than being an entertainment show. Such a negative response was enough for Netflix to realize its mistake. So at the start of 2021, Netflix officially cancelled Messiah Season 2. Okay. Bury it for as long as you can. He clearly had help. What is your thoughts about the cancellation of Messiah Season 2? Tell us in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to our channel Cine Wizard and hit bell icon to stay updated with new videos.